the breeze in the first half. The England team is as selected for this game. Uh, Jed Dunn coming in on the wing and Tom uh, 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 Martin, of course, being replaced by Phil Cookson in the second row. Those two players injured, Martin and, uh, and Atkinson, and not considered for this match. The Australian team is as chosen for the game. Referee for this match is John Percival of New Zealand. It's Australia's kickoff. Australia in the green and gold. England in the white with the red and blue trim. The long kickoff by Australia, taken well behind the quarter line by the winger, uh, Fielding, and Fielding makes a good run for Great Britain. Back about 10 metres over the quarter line. Great Britain in possession. That's Nichols, the second row forward, about 12 metres outside his own quarter line. Bridges the hooker at dummy half, and it goes through Morgan to um, Coleman. Couple of big fellas there in uh, Morgan and Coleman in the front row for Great Britain. Now through Nash, it's gone to uh, Morgan, and that's um, the centre dill. Well into Australia's half, so it looks as if England is going to use the breeze. Graham Langlands now for Australia. Back almost to the halfway line, the tackler fielding. Harris at dummy half. Cronin in close to the ruck. Cronin, a very successful player in this uh, international series. Radonikus. That's uh, Randall, very close to the halfway line. Lang to Radonikus, pick up Fulton. Dill, the tackler for England, about eight metres short of the halfway line. Pick up at dummy half. Radonikus, Beetson, Cronin, and Harris on the wing. A strong player, well taken in that tackle by Walsh. England's ball. But the penalty is against um, Australia offside. Fullback Fairbairn kicking for England and make a mistake. Well taken by Langlands. Bridges the tackler. Ten metres in the Australian half. Now that's Beetson. And he's the fellow that the Englishmen have got to stop early in this game. Rodonikus, pick up, Cronin. Still about 10 metres in the Australian half. Rodonikus, pick up. That's Stevens. And uh, Randall. Pick up. And he might find the line with that one. No, the bounce has favoured the English fullback, Fairbairn. Just over the quarter line, or 22 metres line on England's end of the field. Bridges to uh, Morgan. Now this is where Australia will really give England a hiding unless they can move the ball wide and get out of Australia's clutches here. That's Coolman. He's uh, the biggest fellow in the English pack. Big, strong fellow and very fast, but nicely taken in the tackle by Beetson. Nichols. Nash to Millwood, the captain. And underneath that is Mark Harris. Harris back over the halfway line. Well, those quick kicks are very good, but England have got to get all their players down there after that ball. Once they've put it in the air, everyone's got to get after it. Randall for Australia. A few metres on England's side of the halfway line. A dummy half, it's Platts. Pick up. Oh, and a good bounce for Australia. Australia right on the attack now, just outside the uh, England quarter line. That's Fulton playing the ball. To Stevens, now Langlands, Radonikus, Beetson. Picked up by Randall, just short of the quarter line. Fourth tackle signal. Radonikus, Beetson. In a loose one, Walsh has it. Millwood. Good run by Millwood. That's Fielding on the wing. And if he's got the pace, there's only pick up the beat. He's beaten pick up. This will be an England score. A good run by uh, the winger Fielding. And first points to England. And there we see the brilliance of Millwood. Always able to beat the first man in the tackle. And it was important that he did it then. And he did it. Uh, pick up tried very hard. But the, the winger had too much speed for him. And uh, a fairly simple try after that. But it was uh, the brilliance of Millwood. We didn't quite see it there on the replay, but he beat the first tackle and therefore made the overlap. 
George Fairbairn attempting the conversion and it's there five points to nil in favour of England after almost eight minutes of the first half Crown in the kickoff for Australia very deep one fielding up to his own quarter line Nichols at dummy half and Beetson is the tackler just a few metres outside the quarter line England's end of the ground Bridges now to um, is it Cookson can't see the player properly back to Bridges and that kick by Nash wasn't a very good one but he's regained the ball and that's fielding 12 metres on the England side of the halfway line Bridges through um, Morgan to uh, Kuhlman Morgan again Nash and uh, Walsh in the centres, well taken in that uh, good strong tackle by Radonikus. Benley against Nash, not putting the ball into the centre tunnel. Mick Cronin, the penalty attempt for Australia, not a good kick by Cronin. Uh, but the knock on in goal. That's Langlands, back towards the English quarter line. Now, Australia on the attack again. Down 5-0 in the early stages of this game. Pick up. Stevens. Right on the quarter line on England's end of the ground. Through Radonikus to Cronin. And that's Nash underneath it. <laughs> Handle immediately underneath Nash. Nichols. Back to the quarter line again. Nash at dummy half to Millward. Stevens the tackler. Cookson can't get hold of it. Australia's ball, but uh, the referee, I think, has blown the whistle. Yes, he's ruled knock on. England's ball, Nash. And through uh, Norton to Fairbairn. open side of that ruck the centre Dill Bridges now dummy half to Morgan well, the English forwards all moving together today which is different to what we've seen in the uh, replays on telly of their other games so far that's the difference of their success Millward kicks again Harris for Australia Langlands with him back over the halfway line good tackle by Jed Dunn the uh, England winger that's Cronin at dummy half Radonikus, Coot, Lang, <coughs> Radonikus, Beetson. Good tackling also by the Englishman, which is a, a change from their previous uh, displays. Yes, and over near the touchline, Harris is down receiving attention, but uh, play going on with Australia in possession. Lang now at dummy half. Pick up. Fulton. Platts and that's Fulton again down to the quarter line Langlands picked up beautifully but uh, into touch Harris uh, doesn't look too good uh, the trainer Alf Richards is still on the field with him Graham Langlands there having a, a close look at his winger and now John Percival is coming up to uh, have a look at the injured Australian and it looks as if uh, there's going to be a replacement Chris Anderson the uh, replacement uh, back for Australia coming out towards the touchline and Harris is coming off I'd say he might and have Anderson there. on he looks, looks as if he's got concussion I'd say John and from the scrum could be Australia's ball Radonikus trying to get onto it on the open side he has it Coote Stevens Platts now at dummy half for Australia Radonikus to pick up. Beatson. Oh, and that's a solid high tackle by uh, Kuhlman. Well, uh, have a look at that one again. Kuhlman is to be cautioned. Okay. You'll see um, Beatson receive the ball in the reverse pass here. Back inside, and you'll see him hit very high uh, indeed by the uh, big 
Kuhlman, Mick, uh, Mike Kuhlman of England, and uh, he has received a caution from referee John Percival. It's 5-0 in favour of England as Cronin puts this one through for Australia to make it five points to two after 16 minutes. Millward the kickoff this time for England. Langlands for Australia. Bad bounce for Fairburn, but he's uh, recovered well. And the tackler is Randall. 14 metres on England side of the halfway line. That's Kuhlman again. Kuhlman still about 13 or 14 metres in England's half. Nash. Cronin the tackler. Just short of the halfway line. Morgan. Right on halfway in the fourth tackle. Nash for England. Through Nichols to... Um, uh, Norton, the lock forward, and Nichols in front of him, the deliberate forward pass. Langlands to kick for Australia, looking for touch. And finding him with a good kick. Taking play just inside the quarter line, England's end of the ground, where Australia will have the free kick. Winger Johnny Rhodes taking the free kick. Lang to uh, look like Stevens. It is only about 12 metres out from England's line. Lang again. Beetson didn't get it. Went to Rodonicus and uh, then to Randall, but he's lost it. England's ball inside the quarter line. England back in possession. Nash. Bridges. Clats the uh, tackler around the legs. Nash to uh, Norton. Nichols. That's the sort of stuff Australia's got to apply to the Englishman. Nash. All left behind by Norton. Nash has it again, but uh, the knock-on will be played. England's ball. Nash. Millward. Put down by Cronin and Coote. Just outside the English quarter line. Nash again. Nichols. Held by Platts and Cronin. Nash. Millward. That'll be a knock on again, I think. No, he said knock back, and that's Bridges for uh, England. Morgan. Nash. And he'll gain ground with that kick. Taking play to the halfway line, or just on Australia's side. England leading 5-2 after 19 minutes. Ooh. Australia's ball. Pick up. Cronin. Back to pick up. Fulton near halfway Norton the uh, tackler Rodonicus Lang at uh, dummy half Beetson Platts again Norton the tackler for England 12 metres short of the English quarter line Rodonicus Cronin pick up on the quarter line, fourth tackle. Now let's see what Australia will do. Possibly an up and under. Rodonicus, Beetson, working it on the blind side. Back inside to Coote, and Coote will score. A try for Australia by lock forward Coote. It's five all. Great work here by Artie Beetson. Turn, spun round on the tackle. Very typical uh, English football, as a matter of fact. Rather weak tackling there by English, not to claim him quick, more quickly, but Kurt also backing up, which we've seen him doing a lot of international. Cronin now from near touch, kicking into the wind, attempting the conversion, and it's just wide. So it's still five all, almost 22 minutes gone. Millward, the kickoff for England. Ron Coote. Ten metres outside the Australian quarter line. Rodonicus to um, Randall. Rodonicus, Beetson, the danger man, as we've seen already. 12 metres outside the Australian quarter line, and that's Nash throwing the punch, but I don't think Artie will worry much about that. 
Um, just a mosquito bite, I think, as far as he's concerned. <laughs> Fairburn inside his own quarter line. Missed by Radonikus, but uh, not by Randall. Just outside the English quarter line. Millward at dummy half. Nichols. Nash at dummy half. That's Dill. Fairbairn now kicking for the line. And finding it right on halfway. Bridges with the free kick. Morgan. Kuhlman. Now Nash. Morgan. Millward. To uh, Nichols. Bridges. Morgan again. They're not moving onto this ball. A lot of uh, flat-footed passing then by the Englishman. Nobody really running onto the ball. That's Morgan. Cookson, he's running a bit. And I think it's the uh, first time that I've called his name in this game. He's done a little bit of defending, but that was the first time Cookson had handled. The uh, high kick there from Dill. Langlands uh, and uh, another Australian there. Fairburn from nearly in front. And he's missed the goal. It's still 5-all after 25 minutes. Langlands with the dropout. And that will be a knock-on, I think. No, the referee again has said no knock-on. This is not very well received either by the crowd, as you can hear. Kuhlman, just in his own half. Bridges for England. Morgan. Nash. Got the pass away nicely, but uh, not well handled by Bridges. But it's still England's ball. Through Nichols to uh, Dill. And that's Cookson. But uh, the referee has ruled that the ball uh, was passed to a man offside. And this is most unfortunate. Several cautions have been handed out by referee John Percival. And uh, the kick to be taken by Cronin. Mike Cronin with this difficult attempt at goal. And he's kicked it. That's a great kick by Cronin. Australia in front for the first time. 7-5, 12 minutes before halftime. Millward's kick off. And that's coot for Australia. 10 metres outside the Australian quarter line. Platt's a dummy half. Beatson. Solid tackle there by Norton. Stevens. The Englishmen are not moving up to stop the Australians. They're waiting for the Australians to run to them. Fulton. Coote. Dangerous man out wide like that. Langland's up at dummy half. Looking for the line and gaining ground for Australia. Taking play almost to the quarter line on England's end for the scrum. And it's Australia's ball. Pick up to Cronin. It's cut out Langlands. That's Fulton. Now Radonikus to pick up. On the quarter line in centre field. Australia on the attack. Langlands at dummy half. Radonikus. Cronin. The reverse to Coote. A good tackling from uh, Morgan. Lang. Lang only about 10 metres short of the line. And he's lost the ball. England's ball. 10 metres out. Millward to Nash. And that um, looks like Nichols. Force back on the tackle. That's solid tackling from the Australians. Millward. Morgan. Cookson. Uh, look at that tackling by Australia. The... Uh the front row are getting across. That's what England don't do. Oh, and almost intercepted by uh, Radonikus. He England, was looking for it. England don't mind tackling the man hard if he comes to him, but they seem to not want to get across and chase the man and then put him down like Australia often do. And Fairbairn has put it out on the fall. England's ball this time, and that's Norton standing off the scrum. But Australia very quick to get up in defence. Nichols, Morgan, 
Inside the quarter line, England's end. Nichols again. Right on the quarter line. That's Nash. And it could be Australia's ball. No, it's um, England back in possession. Lucky and bounce. the uh, tackle count will restart. Dill. Nash. Bridges a dummy half. Nichols. Norton. Nichols. Dill to uh, Morgan. Bridges. Warned, uh, not a good pass, but well picked up by Fairbairn. Up to the halfway line. Good run by the fullback. Bridges a dummy half. Morgan. Nash uh, couldn't handle that. Picked up by Dill. And uh, he seemed to be in front, but uh, play goes on, and it's out on the fall. The penalty is against Nash for not putting it in straight. Now the free kick, 10 metres short of the England 22 metres line. That's Stevens. Through Beach and Duridonicus. Langlands now. Nichols and uh, Bridges, the tacklers. Rudonicus, Beetson, Coote on the burst, but well anticipated that time uh, by England. Nash, uh, the tackler. Through pick up to Beetson, Lang. Pick up the Australian 5 8, the dummy half. Beetson now. Almost lost it. Stevens. On the quarter line in the fourth tackle. Cronin to Rodonicus. That might be a little too far. Fairbairn has plenty of time. Well underneath it. Caught by Fulton and trapped in goal. That's Millwood taking the drop out. Langlands. That was a long kick by Millwood. Langlands back towards the quarter line. Caught by the two prop forwards, Morgan and uh, Kuhlman. Pick up now for Australia. Fulton. Lang at dummy half. Beetson. Got it away again. Randall. And he's lost it. England's ball. Just inside the quarter line. Now from Bridges to Cookson. Referee indicating that uh, Australia kicked the ball in the previous play, the ball, and he's restarted the tackle count. That's Kuhlman. Ten metres outside the English quarter line. Now Nichols. Norton. Millward. Fielding. The try scorer for England in the early stages of the game, but he's lost the ball this time. Pick up for Australia. Rhodes at dummy half. Fulton now. Lang, Radonicus, Platts, Walsh the tackler, just short of the uh, quarter line once more. Rhodes, Radonicus, Beetson, knock on. That's England's ball. Norton, Millward, Fairburn coming in, but it's uh, back to Norton. And that's uh, Fairburn, but he's lost it. Australia's ball, right on the halfway line. That was a good move by England, which um, with perhaps a little safer handling then and just an ounce more luck, Fairbairn could have, been, could have been well on his way. Langlands to Coote. Langlands up at dummy half. Rudonicus, pick up. Beetson. Rhodes on the wing. And it's Walsh jumping... <laughs> into the air, almost onto his back. Pick up. Fairbairn underneath this one again, uh, once again with plenty of time. Tackled by Fulton, just inside the quarter line. Seven points to five, Australia leading England, about three minutes left in the first half.
And that's a good break by Millward. Up towards halfway, but Nichols can't handle the pass. Bad luck again for England. That looked dangerous once more. Nichols now to uh, Millward and on through Nash to Norton. Back to Dill. Morgan. Morgan over the halfway line. Good run by the big prop forward. But great tackle by uh, Ron Coote. Good cover defence. Just short of the Australian quarter line. Bridges. Dill. Back to Nichols. Nash. And that's too far. Langlands all the time in the world. Nash coming through. Beaten by Langlands. But not beaten. Uh, he hasn't beaten Millwood. Good tackle by the little 5'8 uh, uh, for uh, England. Rodonicus now. Lang. Beaton. Rodonicus. Randall. Pick up. Fulton. Cronin. And Rhodes on the wing. Nichols across in cover defence. Good uh, tackle by Nichols, taking the Australian into touch. Good work. Australia's ball. We're approaching half time. Australia seven, England five. Play now just in England's half. Pick up to Coot. Cronin. Held by Walsh and uh, Dill. That's Coot again. Ten metres short of the England quarter line. Lang at dummy half. Langlands. Fulton. Fulton nearly in a gap. Cronin inside. Receives the pass. And Anderson has left it behind. Dill has lost it now. Australia back in possession. And the tackle count restarts. Lang. Langlands. Langlands only 12 metres out from the line. Australia 7. England 5. And Beetson on the burst has put it down. Knock on. England's ball. And uh, that's a good run by Nash. And on the wing, it's lost by Dunn. Every chance in the world for England. They've made uh, two or three breaks now, but have been unable to hold the passes. England's ball. Millward. And that will be halftime with Australia leading England by seven points to five. Is wearing number five and Keith Fielding is wearing number two so it was Jed Dunn who scored the try and the centers also uh, numbered in reverse uh, number three is uh, not Les Deal it's John Walsh Walsh is wearing number four uh, my apologies for that and uh, I might add that every broadcaster at the cricket ground today uh, called Keith Fielding as uh, scoring the first half try and has been scoring uh, Dill Walsh and uh, vice versa but these things happen now it's England uh, in possession but they've lost it this might put Australia on the attack now the double knock on England's ball that's Norton who was standing off the scrum good tackle by pickup Millward at dummy half Nash Morgan about 12 metres outside the quarter line England's end of the ground Bridges now at dummy half Nichols Cookson haven't seen a lot of Cookson in the play so far. Bridges to Nichols. And Dunn. Rhodes the tackler, just in Australia's half. Bridges. Cookson. Norton. That's a long one indeed. Millward now. And uh, Walsh. Bridges. Well, a lot of passing, but no ground gained. And that should be England's ball. It is. Nash to Millward. And lost in the centres. Australia's ball. Cronin. Not far from the quarter line. Flats at dummy half. Australia right on the attack now. Leading by seven points to five. Pick up. Rodonicus. Cronin. Fulton, 
Radonikas. He straightens the attack. Right on the quarter line. The crowd booing the, uh, the high tackle there, but uh, Radonikas plays it. Pick up. Langlands. Fulton. And uh, Coote out wide. Beatson. Stevens. Stevens not far from the line. Langlands now. And Langlands close. Only three or four metres out from the line. Coote at dummy half for Australia. Beatson at charging up the line. Can he get it down? He's over the line, but no try. Unable to ground the ball. That's Norton. Nash. 12 make, metres on the uh, England side of the halfway line. To make any impression into Australia's uh, defence, I think England will have to put the ball in the air and make Australia turn and chase it. That's about the only way they're going to get them at sixes and, sixes and sevens as to whether to come forward or go back. And the referee, John Percival, takes the penalty. Another 10 metres downfield, taking it into Australia's half. The Australian is a little bit slow to get back there. Not a bad looking kick, but out to the left. Still 7-5 in favour of Australia, five minutes into the second half. Just in England's half, Millward. <laughs> Just as well he avoided Beaton coming through then. Coolman. Bridges at dummy half. And the strike almost won uh, for Australia, but it's still uh, England in possession. Bridges, Nichols. That's the halfway line. Morgan to um, Nash and then out to Norton. Norton just in the Australian half. Nash. Dill. Referee having a close look. Uh, he doesn't know which player has the ball. Disputed possession. We'll have the scrum. Australia's ball. In New Zealand today, New Zealand defeated Wales by 13 points to 8 to go to 5 points in the point score in this championship series. Only one behind Australia. And England needs a win in this game to join New Zealand in uh, equal second place behind Australia. And only one point from the Australians with the second half of this series to be played in the Northern Hemisphere later in the year. Beatson for Australia, just in uh, England's half. Lang to pick up. Fulton. That's not a good kick. And it's given possession to England. Morgan plays it. Millwood. Nichols. Norton. Good run by... Um, England, that's Walsh, just in the Australian half. Nash now at dummy half. And he's kicking for field again. He's got a lot of pace if he can pick it up, but he's got it. But he's out over the touchline. Oh. What bad luck for England. Penalty against uh, Radonikas for not uh, feeding the scrum correctly. Australia seven, England five as Fairbairn kicks. And he's missed it. It's still 7-5 Australia, 12 minutes into the second half. Langland's taking the drop out. Fairbairn. Back almost to the halfway line. Millward. Nash. Coolman. Nash again, Morgan to uh, Norton, Nash through Morgan and Nichols to Cookson and now Bridges through the gap, and that's Dill down towards the Australian quarter line, good tackle by Cronin, Millward at dummy half, and he's kicking for Dunn, but it's too long I think, Langland's in the end goal. Won't be trapped in there either. Caught by uh, Dunn, just out on the field of play. Australia 7, leading England 5. Cronin for Australia. Or was it Anderson it was who was in from the wing? Now that's Beatson. 
and Rodonicus. Lang at dummy half. Beatson. Through pick up to Platts. Dill the tackler just inside the Australian quarter line. From Lang to Fulton. Kicking for the backs over on the far side of the field. Fielding back there to uh, cover for England. And Fairburn going with him. Fairburn now. Coot the tackler. And now that's uh, Walsh. Nichols. A few metres in the Australian half. Fairburn a dummy half. Morgan. Walsh for uh, England. Ten metres in the Australian half. Now it's Nash at dummy half. And Walsh's kick is uh, going to be good, I think. It'll find the line. Yes, that's a great kick by Walsh. It's Australia's ball. Rodonicus. He's lost it. England's ball. Not far out from the Australian line. England on the attack now. That's Morgan looking for the line. Only a few metres out. Nash at dummy half. Cookson. Millward. And almost intercepted by uh, Bobby Fulton. But England uh, still in possession now. Fairbairn inside the quarter. Dunn looking for the inside pass, but Fairbairn unable to get it away. Millward at dummy half. Fairbairn. Still about uh, 12 or 13 metres out from the line. Nash. Cookson. And uh, over away from the play, the Australian 5'8", Tim Pickup receiving attention. But England uh, pressing strongly, but they might have lost it. Yes, they have. It's Australia's ball. Platts plays it. Beatson. Rodonicus a dummy half. Making ground up to the quarter line, Australia's in. Australia leading by seven points to five and about 24 minutes left now. Fulton to Cronin. Beaten his man. Anderson, but he's lost it again. Just outside the uh, Australian quarter line. It might be England's ball. Full back Fairburn for England. Probably their best chance now of breaking the Australian uh, defence in the back line. And the penalty once more is against Radonikus. George Fairbairn kicking for England, attempting once more to level the scores at 7 all. But it's well out to the right this time. Langlands for Australia. Nash the tackler, only 15 metres out from the Australian line. Radonikus reversing it there to Platts. Lang, pick up. Beatson, Cronin, Cronin over the quarter line, good run by Cronin, he's got Rhodes with him but can't get the pass away, good defence by Dunn but great run by uh, Cronin, right on halfway, Fulton, Radonikus, Morgan the tackler, four tackles gone, pick up, Beatson, and through Platts, well, I thought he was going to pass it, but he didn't. Platts takes the fifth tackle just in England's half. And there's been a replacement in the England team as this scrum goes down, and a very important replacement too. Roger Millward, the England captain, has left the field and he's been replaced by number 14, Ken Gill. So a vital change in the England team. That's Australia's ball. Pick up. Rodonicus. And Gill there wearing number 14 for England, who has just come onto the field in replace uh, in place of Roger Millward, the England captain. That's pick up. And that pass seemed to go forward. Yes, the referee has ruled. Forward pass. Penalty against uh, England. McCronin for Australia. This is the goal, and it's still 7-5 in Australia's favour after 22 minutes of the second half. Now the England dropout taken by Nash. It's over halfway. Langlands.
few metres in Australia's half from pick-up to Radonikus. And a good break by the Australian scrum half. He's got support. That's uh, Randall and Fulton backing up. Fulton inside the quarter line. Putting Australia right back on the attack now. Australia 7, England 5. And that's through Radonikus to Platts and back to Beetson. Beetson out of the tackle. Langlands. Langlands down only eight metres out from the line. The England defence getting back quickly now. That's Lang and Beetson. Beetson close. Only a couple of metres out from the line. And that's the fourth tackle. One chance left. Beetson plays forward, but he's missed it. But we'll have the goal line drop out, giving possession back to Australia. But I thought Beetson there, uh, taking that little... Uh tap kick and trying for the try acted a little bit uh, 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 without much idea of what was outside him because he had about four fellows lined up outside him and only about two Englishmen so I think the play of the ball would have been the better now the goal line dropout back over the quarter line and that's pick up inside the quarter now so Australia back on the attack again, leading by seven points to five and 16 minutes of play remaining. Radonikas for Australia. About um, 13 or 14 metres out from the line. Lang, Beetson, Beetson 10 metres short. Lang, pick up, Fulton, Cronin. And his pass is put down. And the referee has ruled Australia offside. Fairbairn to take the penalty kick for England, looking for the line over on the showground side of the field, for those of you who know the Sydney Cricket Ground. And the free kick now is to be taken eight metres outside the England quarter line. Bridges, and that's Eric Chisnell, the replacement for Phil Cookson. Chisnell, who was with the Great Britain side in Australia last year and had a very good tour. Put down by uh, England. Platts onto the ball for Australia. Pick up now. Stevens. Very close to the quarter line. Lang. Pick up. Coote. Langlands. Gill, the tackler. Still close to the England quarter line. Straight line of defence coming up for England as Beetson takes play over the quarter line. Lang. Platts. And uh, that went forward. Another penalty to England. Got to move these Englishmen, these slow Englishmen wide. And uh, Fairbairn finds the line. Bridges, Nichols, Steve Nash at dummy half. 14 minutes left and Australia leading by seven points to five. Through Gill, it's gone to Norton. Now it's Gill, Chisnell, Gill again. Good run by England, but his pass has gone forward. Australia's ball now on the halfway line. Ron Coote to play it for Australia. Fulton, Rhodes, Langlands, Cronin. Good run by Cronin. He's got it away to Anderson, but the referee again has blown the whistle, ruling that the pass went forward, and it looked it from here. And the penalty has been awarded against England, collapsing the scrum there. The hooker bridges down on the ground. Penalty to Australia. And Langlands finds the line, taking play back inside the uh, England quarter. Putting the pressure right on the visitors once more. Anderson up for the free kick. Radonikus, Beetson. Back to uh, Randall. A lot of pressure on the Englishman now. Radonikus, pick up. Coote. About 15 metres out from the line. Lang at dummy half. Radonikus beats him. And uh, back to Stevens. Radonikus beats him. Platts. And floating to Anderson. Anderson close to the line. He's over. It's over. 
It's an Australian try, and Australia leads by 10 points to 5. Well, there we had Beetson leading the charge. Good quick hands by Australia. This time the ball did go right out to the winger, and Anderson uh, did a superb job by the... Uh, well, as good as I've seen a winger do this season, the way he got in and took that ball. Mick Cronin to attempt the conversion, and there's uh, Tim Pickup being uh, assisted from the field by trainer Alf Richards. And uh, here's John Donnelly coming out uh, onto the field. Uh, a forward going on with a back coming off, but of course we already have the replacement back on the field. Now Mick Cronin attempting the conversion. And that's uh, not a bad looking kick, but he's kicked it just wide. And uh, it's still 10 points to five in favor of Australia. And as the scrum goes down, we'll see uh, just uh, where the changes have taken place. We still have Ra Randall um, in the scrum. He's gone into the uh, second row. Platts is at lock. Fulton now is playing at 5'8". Cronin and um, uh, Coote are in the centres. So it's uh, Ron Coote in the centre for Australia. Platts has dropped back to lock forward. Donnelly's gone into the front row and Randall is back in the second row. The changes uh, following the uh, withdrawal from this game of uh, the 5'8 team pickup. England in possession. And there's a typical tackle from the Australians and that's the reason why in the second half England have... Uh, well, gone into their shell. They can't get through the Australian defence. Now it's Morgan out wide for England. Playing it to Bridges. Nash. And put well into the air. That's a high one. Morgan coming through underneath it. But uh, knockback says the referee. Platts for Australia to Radonikus. Over halfway. Norton the tackler. 14 metres on uh, England side of halfway. Lang to Fulton, Beetson. The pressure back on England now. Fulton, Donnelly. That's a good tackle by uh, Kuhlman. Now Fulton, Fairbairn under pressure. Australians coming through after this ball, but well taken by Fairbairn. Cute the tackler, not far out from the England line. 10-5 in favour of Australia. With time running out. About seven and a half minutes left. England in possession, but right back in their own half. This is only about 14 metres out from the uh, uh, England line. Chisnell. unable to get it away. This Australian defence is moving up very quickly indeed. And this has been the difference um, largely between the two teams. The England forwards have been more or less waiting for the Australians to run to them. The Australians have moved up very quickly. And that's bouncing away from Langlands. Gill almost onto it, but it's still Australia's ball. Well, that was a lucky bounce for Australia there. And there lies England's best chance of making a break, putting the ball in the air and just taking their chances. Rodonikas for Australia. Anderson. Norton tackling. It's Lang. Stevens to Fulton. Radonikus. Donnelly. And out wide. Not a good pass. And that's Fielding on the wing. And he's got a lot of pace. And he's got the overlap. Platts uh, coming across field. And back there to cover is Langlands. Langlands just outside his own quarter. And Gill is the man who nails him 12 metres from the halfway line. Well, uh, Langland should say thank you very much, Fielding, for that kick. Right back to him. Just short of the halfway line now. Lang for Australia. Fulton to Beetson and uh, out wide to uh, Randall. Beetson. And Lang has lost it. It's England's ball through Coleman to Gill. And he's got two players with him. That's Dill. And out to Dunn. And Dunn's got a lot of pace. But again, the little kick goes to Langlands. But he's lost it. Picked up by Gill, who's in touch. The flag is up. England's ball. And the reverse to Gill. And he's through. This is a great try. A great try to England. Gill is through. 
And that makes it 10 points to 8 in favour of Australia with a kick to come from right in front. Well then, Platt's probably the little bit of inexperience of uh, Platt's here. No cover defence there at all, although Platt's getting across there, but caught on the wrong foot. Good flick pass there. You can see what happened, just the uh, good quick hands, which the Englishmen are very uh, well known for, and well, it's as simple as that, so that's how a game can change. And uh, Fairbairn converts, and it's 10 all with four minutes left. Nick Cronin kicking off for Australia. Done for uh, England. Back to the quarter line. Bridges a dummy half. Nichols. Not much time left. We're inside the last three minutes now. Bridges. Morgan. Morgan back to the blind side. Gaining ground for England. 14 metres in England's half. Bridges, Nash, the defence getting up quickly again. Ten points all. Two and a half minutes left in the game. Gill, Chisnell, and Dunn. Good run by Dunn, and that's Gill. Over halfway, and backing up nicely, it's um, Dill. And a good kick too. Nichols coming through after it. And it's lost by Australia, but that's kicked too hard by uh, Chisnell. Too far, over the dead ball line. Lang, the um, tap kick from the quarter line. And the tackler there is Kuhlman. It's Coot. 14 metres in Australia's half. Time running out now. Beetson, a few metres short of the halfway line, and a penalty... The penalty to Australia taken by Langlands. And he's made a mistake. Failed to find the line. Fielding for England now. Down towards the halfway line. About 10 metres in England's half. Only about a minute left now. And that's Nichols. England need uh, to try something now with time running out. Nash. Chisnell. Back to Nash. Almost on the halfway line. We're inside the final minute of the game. Morgan to Gill and then Kuhlman. Kuhlman right on the halfway line in the fourth tackle. Gill. And uh, that's Dill. But Langland's right in uh, place for that kick. Right in position. Caught by Dunn. Australia in possession, and they've only got to see out a couple of couple more tackles now, and uh, it will be a draw. That's Rhodes for Australia. Rhodes down 10 metres short of the halfway line. The siren will sound any moment as Lang gets the ball away to Beetson. It's 10 all England and Australia. And that's Platts for Australia. Out wide on the blind side. The hooter sounds as Rhodes goes down, but he gets the ball back. It's still uh, in play, but kicked dead by... Uh, Rodonicus of Australia, so it's a draw. England and Australia, 10 all. Australia finishes the first half of the series with seven points. New Zealand in second place with four. Uh, with five, I'm sorry. Australia, seven. New Zealand, five. England, four. And in this game today for Australia, tries to Coote and Anderson and Cronin, two goals. For England, tries to Dunn and Gill and Fairbairn, two goals. The final score again, 10 all.